Howdy, you tricks of host, Reese here, and I'm here to probably present to you our third installment. And this one here, you can be seen, is 15 love tricks and magic that you could do for Valentine's World Fun. Without any further ado, let's get to it right now. So get those items up for me, and let's get right on into them. So what's our first trick? But we're gonna get to our trick that would definitely go right to the rows of it. To our trick one, and that is the magic vanishing petal stick. Magic trick. Here's what these rose petals will look like. Okay, so here I got our two rose petals. We got one, and we got two. I'm gonna actually just place them into my fist just like this. And you can just like that. And that's that I have is um, something in my hand. And that is um, this um, chopstick. You see, just here. The petals are in here. Watch. Just this wave over. I'm going to do some love fusion with this. Watch. Whoa! And by magic, completely vanish by the chap, uh, the, the lip chap stick you see just right here. So how did I get those roll pills to vanish by the stick? As is about to reveal the secrets. So what you need to pull this one off. And that's what you see here at the uh, tricks table. You will be needing our two um, red rose pe uh, petals. And your will be needing is this um, chopstick. You see right there. An empty one. Because in here, no thumb tips are required for this one. It's all in the works of the uh, chopstick itself. Because what it's going to do is conceal these into your hands just like this. Just as is. Hold them just like that. You can do this sitting down at a table or standing up. It's entirely up to you how to pull this magic trick off. All I gotta do is take up one rose petal and I'll place it into the uh, chapstick covering like this. Like that. Get it all in, in there like that. The only thing you're going to do is take th this out and place it in like this. It'll just lock it all in, in one place. Make sure you keep your fist. And you can say, as it is, I have something here. And that is this uh, lip chap, you see, this right here. Keep your fist, because they know that you put the rose petals into here. Really, they're not, like this. You're going to use this as a wand and drop it into the palm of your hand, like this. Like that, and by magic, completely vanishes by the stick. You see, just, just, just right here. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to the magic vanishing pedal stick. Magic trick. Bring us down to our next Love Rose magic trick. To our trick number two we get to. And that goes to the magic pedal two Rose head magic trick. This, is what this pedal to rose head will rose like. So you're gonna see this uh, um, nice rose petal here. Watch. By magic, the rose petal magically turns itself directly into a rose head in the palm of my very hand. You see, this here. So there, we bought fusion within this one. One petal. Now turns into a rose head. How is this magic trick done? As it is about to reveal the rose head secret to you right now. Here's what you'll need for right, this one. Yeah, that's what you'll see just right here. You will be needing is one rose head, fake or a real one, red or any color that you prefer. Then you will be needing is a rose petal. The same color as the rose head. You're going to attach an elastic 
onto it. And just put a hole to it and just attach it right to about there. Closest to the end of the bit. The ending I'm going to is um, get yourself a full back clip and attach the elastic to the full back clip. This now will get um, cl uh, clamped onto your belt or your pants like this. Back here. Like that. This will go back here. You're gonna con you're gonna conceal the rose head in your hand like this. When you write all that tan palm. Like that. But be be natural about it like this. Then your hands to so natural let's take a look to it. So you're gonna hold the pedal, the pedal like that, point it at the pedal, and as you let this go, you're gonna place your hand in very quickly like this. And by magic, that one rose petal that was in the palm of your hand changes and fuses together to make a rose head in the palm of your hand, you see? Just here. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to the magic pedal to rose head magic trick. To our trick number three, we get to. Here on our third installment, and again, thank you so much for watching our installments one through two. Without any further ado, here is the title, which I like to call this one the magic rip rose stem magic trick. So this rip row stem will look like. Here is the performance. So here, I got this um, stem with the roll head, head on like this. I can actually just rip this off like this, like this. You can see the whole this my hand here. Watch this and actually take this now. Watch this. Three, two, one. By magic, I rip it off and it goes right back onto the stem. So how do I do this one? As is about to reveal the secrets. All you've been, been needing for this are just a few simple love things. That is what you'll see here. Two of the same rose heads, one with the same contraption as from the other, other one here. That's um, mounted onto your belt as well. Like this. You're going to do is um, line this up to the rose head like this. But first things first, what you want to do is hold the rose head like this, having the leaves down like this. What you're going to do is um, take the rose head line up like this, like that. So they get see the leaves down here, and you holding on to the stem with the rose head like this. So this is what it looks like. Just like this. Take the rose head off like this and we'll give it a wrap like this. So the rose head. And you're gonna actually just go like this. Hold. And it'll just go back into your long sleeve shirt like that. Keep your fist. It's not there. All you gotta do is gonna switch your hand like this. One, two, three, like this. And by magic, it uh, fuses together and goes right back onto the stem. You see, just right here. Makes another a really cool a roll special trick that would definitely surprise someone with that one as you take off the head of, of the rose on the stem and by magic have it to um, restore itself back onto the stem after ripping it off the stem. And that right there is how you do the magic trick too, the magic rip rose stem magic trick. Bring us down to our master trick number four. That goes to the appearing magic rose cone blossom magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here I got my nice red silk sash here, and it got this nice newspaper looking thing here, the bow on there like that. How we're gonna actually make a, a, a blossom a blossom flower to appear in this? Watch this, and this is going like this. Watch. By magic, I make it appear inside the cone. 
How is this one done? As it is about to reveal, listen to you right now. While you'll be needing are a few simple things. That is this nice blossom bouquet and a paper cone that it comes with with the ribbon. Polka dot ribbon. And it goes together like this. All you need is a red silk sash and you are good to go. You're gonna hold the blossom like this into your hand, just like this. With this, this, this sash, like this. Held by your fingers, just like this. So the cone, completely empty. You're gonna place it in just like this. And brush down like that. Or you can simply go like this. And go out like that. Like if you prefer to make the production happen. So, going quickly, and by magic, making um, bl blossom flowers appear in the paper cone you see just here. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to the magic appearing rose cone blossom magic trick. Bring us down to our magic trick number five. Goes to the magic restoring kiss ribbon cup magic trick. Here's what this will look like. There's the performance. So here I got my nice uh, purple ribbon here. You can see here. And I got this nice uh, uh, kiss cup. You see just here. You can see. Yeah, just nothing inside. I'm gonna give it a little shake. There's just nothing in the inside of this. I'm going to give this a rip. Like this. I'm gonna actually just place this down the side for now while I go and give this one a rip. Like this. So there's this. I'm gonna actually it's just give this a rip. I guess this one piece. I'll rip these pieces up just like this. Just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna ball this up just like this. Okay, so I got I got it into here like that. Okay, I'm gonna actually is pick up that kiss cup like this. So here I'm gonna actually is pop it in like this. Like that okay, so now I got it in the inside. Watch this. I guess give this a smooch. We'll see what that does. This reach in just like this. It's all balled up. You can see just right here. From this. Okay, what I'm going to do is now proceed to unwrap it. And by magic, it restores. As it is, a love definitely makes things nice and whole, just like this nice purple ribbon. So, how did I get the purple ribbon to mend? By the Kiss cup, as it is about to reveal the secrets. Here's what you'll need to make this happen. Here's what you'll need. Let's see here at the trick table. You'll be needing is a red uh, shot cup, and I'm gonna put on yeah um, heart or kiss lips on it or anything will do. You'll need is some purple. Ribbon and some scissors. What I want to do is going to is cut the same length of ribbon for this. So what you're going to do is make a duplicate one like this. It's pretty simple. All you got to do is just measure it up just like that, and just uh, give it a cut from here. Once you get it all evened out. Just like this. Like that. And trim off the excess in the bottom there. Like this. So now that you've got your two pieces of uh, pur purple ribbon, you're good to go. What you want to do first is ball up the purple ribbon. One. And put it into the cup just like this. There's no thumb tips in this one at all. It's all in the works of sleight of hand. Follow it up 
I place it into the cup just like this. Like that. That's all you'll need to do in preparation for this master trick. Take your uh, 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 kiss cup and take your rib ribbon and so put your uh, finger in a little bit too so that way that doesn't fall. Or you can sort like this. It's completely empty. Hold it in like this. And like this. Just so that's not coming off by putting your finger underneath it like that. That way you'll know that this is completely empty. Really? The ball is it's just right there. What we're going to do is take your root, your purple ribbon, and proceed to give it a, rip, a few rips. One, so the pieces as they come off, like this, like that. So once you see the pieces, you're going to do is ball up just like this. You're going to is. Do a false transfer for this, like this. And point, it's just right here. False, like that, point. Dispose of this. Get your cup, and put this in like this. Hand over, like that. Now, it's inside here. Okay, what you're gonna do is, take your um, fingers, go into it, pull out, the balled up, unharmed one right here. But they won't know it because they see you put in the one that you ripped up. Now, first thing first, what we want to do is give it a smooch first, and then take it out. So you can take it out if you want to, or give it a smooch. Show it some love. And from there, just proceed to unwrap it. And so, it completely restored. You see, just right here. Another great uh, a f a, uh, a fusion master trick because it brings it together and it restores it and makes a great master trick that you could do that would definitely amaze everyone with that one. Now you know how that master trick is done. And that right there is how you do the master trick too the magic restoring kiss ribbon cup master trick. Bring us down to our trick number six. And that is the Magic Heart Pick and Thread Bundle Magic Trick. Here's what this Heart Pick and Thread Bundle will look like. So here, guys, Heart Pick inside the, uh, the uh, thread bundle here. I'm just going to take it out so you can see it. And here is the bundle right here. I'm going to just place it in just like this. You can see me put it in just like that. Take out. I'm gonna actually put it back into it again, just like this. Back in, like, just like that. Okay, so now it's in the inside, you can see. Now it's actually in, in the inside of it right here. You can see. It's in the inside of the bundle, like this. I'm gonna actually, just to take that, we'll do something pretty magical with it. Three, two, one. Whoa! No torn thread. And I pulled out the heart pick from the thread bundle. So how do I do this one? I'll show you. All you've been needing is this heart pick. You see just right here. With the bow onto it. Then you'll be needing is this um, thread bundle. You see just right here. Put the uh, pick in just like this first, so they can see it in the inside just like this, like that. Take it out just like that, and so you'll place it in again, and so again, they can see it's in. Why? Because it'll help with what you're about to do. Take this out again. And you're gonna put, put it into the back of it just like this. You're gonna thread it down just like that. And then just seal, seal the bundle up just like this. Like that. 
by pinching it just like this. That way, you can sew the bundle and then rotate it over and sew the other side just like this. Careful, the pick does not sew. Like this. Hold it. Like this. Like that. And then what I gotta do is take the uh, pick and you're gonna pull it out like this. But be very epic about it. Go in and go pull like this. Pull the bundle or the pick entirely up to you. And by magic, rip the heart pick right out of a thread bundle just like this one. And that right there is how you do the magic trick too. The magic heart pick and thread bundle magic trick. What a bundle that was. Coming into our next trick, we get to, to our trick number seven. And that goes to the Valentine's Magic Glitter Heart Fan Magic Trick. Here's what this Glitter Heart Fan will look like. Here's the performance. So here I got my fan, I got this one small heart. Watch. By magic, it grows in size by the nice fan you see just right here. So how did I get the fan to make that one small heart grow? As it is about to reveal. The secrets is what you'll need for this one. For this you will be needing is a, a small glitter heart and a bigger size glitter heart you see just right here. Then you will be needing is this Love Fusion um, hand fan you see just right here. That. And what you want to do here is take your fan, pull it out like that, with your fingers out like this. Big heart goes in like this. Now you can easily hold it behind the fan like this. You can do this standing up or sitting down. I'll sit down for this one. Pick out this small heart like that. So, make sure you get space to put in the big heart like this. So, so this one small heart, you're going to brush this down like this and grow it in size. Like that. So, do small, the small heart and go like that. And then just give the small one a ditch into your lap if you're sitting down or into your pocket if you're standing up. By magic, that one small glitter heart grows big by the use of a love fusion hand fan you see just here. And that there definitely goes to the heart of Valentine enough for all love for everyone. And that is how the magic trick is done. Give it up for the Valentine's magic glitter heart fan magic trick. To my next one, we get two, but to our trick number eight, and that is the multiplying magic chocolate heart sleeve magic trick. Here's what this chocolate heart sleeve will look like. So here I got this nice, interesting looking. So we got here, we got this nice um, sleeve. You see this right here. We got this one chocolate heart. You see, that's right here. Okay, and then actually is place that in to the uh, sleeve just like this. Like that. Okay, watch this. And actually is, um, let me get a rose for this. Love magic of the world. Give that a tap. Now put this paste over here. As now, I give this a dump. By magic, it multiplies to four. So how did I get this done? As it is about to reveal the secrets. All you've been needing is what you'll see here, and that is um, two of the same 
sleeves, one smaller and one is more bigger. The beginning are four chocolate hearts, one, two, three, four, four. A rose for a rose wand, and a nice serviette. Gonna place the three chocolate hearts in the smaller one, just like this. Like that. And you're gonna hide that under your serviette like this. That's facing like this. And all that's to be seen is just this. You're so completely empty like this. You're gonna place this in first like this. And in just like that. And then this just goes aside. As now, you pick up the chocolate heart and place it into that sleeve right here. Like that. Hold the sleeve in place as now you get your uh, rose and wave over like this. You can see it anywhere you want to. What you gotta do is open it up and dump like this. Dump out the hearts onto the serviette or directly onto the table. Give it this in here, a ditch into your lap, and so it's completely empty. All to be seen are one, two, three, four hearts. You see, that's right here on the napkin. You see, just right here. And that right there is how you do the magic, the magic trick too, the multiplying magic chocolate heart sleeve magic trick. I guess down to our ninth one we get to. That goes to the magic silk two flower head stem. Magic trick. Here's what this will look like. Here's the performance. So here I hold is the stem and I got this nice red silk sash to see just right here. I'm gonna actually do something magical with it. So I'll place this into my teeth. That's good hold. Watch this. Just place this into my, my fist. Just like that. Okay, just like this. And what you will take is this. Is this to get this right into my hand just like this? Where the uh, silk is like this? Watch. Three, two, one. Oh! Whoa! By magic, look what the silk turned itself into a rolled head on the stem. How's this magic, magic trick done? As is about to reveal the secrets. Is what you'll need to pull this magic trick off. Here's what you'll need for this magic trick. You will be needing is a red silk sash, a thick rose, the rose head off of it, and your magician's thumb tip. What you want to do is have the rose down here like this. So it's easy to fit the uh, stem underneath it. Thumb tip is pointing upward like this. Like that, up to the beginning, the, the entrance way of your fist. You can do it sitting up or sitting down. Here I'm gonna sit down for the revealing for this one. You're gonna hold the stem with the hand and show the, the sash like this. What you're gonna do is bite hold the stem like this. And then you're gonna place the silk sauce into your thumb tip from here, like this. And then put your, th your thumb in, like this. Then go and take the stem, like this. And you're gonna put it into the bottom of where the rose is, like this. Into the bottom, like this. All you gotta do is to pull up like that, and by magic, uh, the silk turns into a rose head on the stem. And when it's done, just move your thumb tip by right the table, put it into your lap. And by magic, the silk turns into the rose head and on the stem, you see, just right here. And that there will definitely make a great a magic trick that you could do that you can get yourself into for Valentine's World Love.
Okay. Uh, there is how you do the master trick two. The silk to flower head stem master trick. Two or trick number. Turn me get two. And that goes to the magic heart cover saws magic trick. Here's what this will look like. First, you can see all these uh, nice uh, heart swells here. You're gonna actually just take one like this. You're gonna actually is uh, put that one down onto the table, just like that. So there's one moving up there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is get the other one like this. And what I'm going to is place that up front like this. Okay. I'll do the rest of them as well. Okay. There. And last but not least, I'll do is this one as well too. Like that. I'm going up forward there. Like this. Okay, so all these are here. Um, are there. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to use is this rose right here that I had. Watch this. One, two, three, four. We'll pick these up. By magic. The hearts appear from the halves. So how did this? I'll show you. All you need are four shoulder hearts. One, two, three, four. And four of these um, heart shawls right here. And a rose for a wand. What I want to do is con conceal the heart chocolates into your hand like this. Two in one and two in the other. Like this. You're going to is so one empty, place one in like this to one heart like that, and then place into the onto the table like this. Repeat the same thing like this. So putting it into the hearts shells like that. Make sure all four get them in like this, like that. And then take your rows and tap onto two to each half like this. One, two, three, four, like that. Then pick them up like this by magic. Heart, chocolate hearts appear from the four heart halves you see just right here. And that's how you do the magic trick to it. Give it up for the magic heart cover shells. Magic trick. Bring us down to our magic trick number 11. That is the Vanishing Magic Rose Cloth magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here I got this rose that sits upon this, this nice uh, cl cloth here. And actually, to take that rose like this, we'll make it com completely vanish. Check this out. Three, two, one. By magic, it completely vanishes. So how did I get that to vanish? By the cloth? This is about to reveal the secrets. Here's what we mean by this one. That is what you'll see just right here. It is a rose. Here, clip, you see just right here. The thing you be needing is this nice red cloth. What we're going to do is, we're going to hold the, cl the cloth like this, and a um, bunch up like that. Why? Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help with what you're about to do with this. You're going to hold the rose like this into your hand, but they won't know it. All you see it is just pressing onto the cloth like this. Because when you go like this, you're going to actually is take it out like this. As you give it a cover, pull it out like that. Give that addition to your lap like that as you just gently um, fold the cloth like this. You see it already there because you know it's inside there. Is you see you wrap it up into it. All you gotta do is you just open it up just like this. And by magic, completely this disappears. It's a very uh, cool magic you can do with um, 
nice red scarf and a rose that looks just like this. And that right there is how you do that magic trick too. The Vanishing Magic Rose Cloth Magic Trick. Two, oh, next one we got to do about two, uh, trick number 12. And that is the Magic Love Phoenix, Phoenix Feather Cloth Magic Trick. It is what this will look like. So here I got this one Phoenix Feather here. Watch this, just use this cloth here. I'll make something magic happen with that one. Watch. Whoa! Again, I'll make that dis disappear. And again, we'll do that same thing. Let's we'll take the cloth like this. Watch. So how did I do this one? By the Phoenix Feathers? This is about to reveal the secrets. All we need are two Phoenix Feathers, red. And a nice purple covering with a nice design onto it. You guys can check out the design. Looks very fine. Okay, what you're gonna do here is take your covering like this, purple covering, place one of the Phoenix feathers in like this, and you're gonna add the other one like this. Pinch by the fingers and you instead of it like that, and your thumb is under here, ready to kick this out like this. Stuff like that. What you're going to do is take the bigger part of the cloth like this, and cover it like this, and then put it into position, and drop the covering down like that. So again, from here, like that. And make a second one to appear. You can also make it vanish by simply just reversing what I just did. Like this. So, like that, make it, make it vanish. It's fixing you back here. Make it reappear again. It's simply just say that same thing, like this. Like that. And by magic, making the phoenix feather to appear and disappear and reappear by the cloth you see just right here. And that right there is how you do the magic trick too the magic love phoenix feather cloth magic trick. Brings more love fusion with that one. I know how that is done. Bring us down to our trick number 13 from here. We get to our trick. The truly magic martini card. Magic trick. That's what this martini card will look like. So here I've got this mar mar martini thing here. i got this the truly martini card here. And we're also going to actually just take this card. We'll uh, get something from it. By magic, I get a drink from the card. You can see this right here. So how did I do this one? As is about to reveal the secrets. Here's what you need for this. All you'll be needing is a fake strawberry. So for some fake, fake fruit, you have a martini glass, and a nice romantic looking card you see right here. Then what you'll be, be needing is a gimmick cup. Here I'll be just be using what you see this right here in the inside of it. I'm gonna actually put it into your gimmick cup like this. Like that. Get your fake uh, fruit, put it into the martini cup just like this. Same so up yeah, so you can see the green top of the strawberry. The gimmick cup is held back here like this. Where the card is, like this. So you can see the card. So the glass, you can, you can hold the glass if you want to, or have it onto a table, and just dump it out like this. Like that. And by magic, the drink mysteriously comes out of the gift card. So it's done. Pass the cup over like that, and give this a dish into your lap and sew the card back and front. Makes a very 
fine class romantic that's what you do that's right at the table there are definitely souls in the world of love with that one as well too and that right there is how you do the magic trick to the truly magic martini card magic trick to so our 14th one we get to and that is the magic wine to petals magic trick is what this wine to petals will look like so here I got this nice glass here and I got this Nice, um, very wine here. Let's just pour it into here just like this. So pour it into here. Just like that. Okay, so I got just like that. Let's place this aside. You can see I have it nice and full. Up to the rim just right here. Okay, just watch this. And let's just, just take this. What it actually is make something happen with this. Watch this. By magic, it turns into rose petals. You can see here? So how did I do this? As well, this is done right now. All you need is a tall glass, a nice covering, and you'll be needing our rose petals, red. You're gonna preload into the cup just like this. Right, just like that. Get it all in there. Just like this. Then you are good to go. Except you need another thing to go with this to turn it into. You will be needing a gimmick cup, you know, place in the inside, just like this. And then you'll be needing is your punch or wine, or whatever you have. Make sure that the petals are pushed down with it first. Like this. If you don't rise above, all you see is this. So it'll look just like that. You're gonna cover this with the, the covering down here. Like this. So you can see you actually pouring in the uh, drink in the gimmick cup like this. Don't go all the way. Like this. What I'm going to do is take this out like this. Cup out. And then you see this. What you gotta do is shake this like this on top of the table. Like this, and by magic, the wine turns into rose petals. This now goes down a side of you, like that, and then so the napkin as well, too. By magic, the wine turns into red rose petals. You see, just right here. And that right there is how you do the magic wine to petals magic trick. Bring us down to our last magic trick. On our installment three, and again, thank you for watching our series. This one goes to our 15th one. That is the magic love arm shawl magic trick. This is where this love arm shawl will arm and shawl like. You see here? I got this arm shawl here. You see? You're gonna actually, this is to take this arm shawl like this. So I'll see if it actually is make something very magical that happens. Go into my arm shawl like this and watch. By magic, I get a wine bottle from the shawl. So how did I do? Th I do this one. I will show you. Are you being being? Is what you'll see here. Um, nice um, arm shawl that looks just like this. And um, wine bottle or a juice, juice, whatever, like that. Sparkly. It means something a little bit more nice and ro romantic like. What it's gonna do with the bottle is place this into your um, jacket like this. 
up to where your armpit is. You see, let's say here, arm sole just goes onto your arm just like this. So I can easily sew this, like this. Take something like this, put your hand in like, this, like, like that, cover the uh, sole and rest this upon your leg like this. As you are doing that, make sure to cork. Here's like this, so make a cork, like that. And then it's reach in and go like this. And make it make it up here. When it's done, let's place it onto the table. Just like that. It's a very uh, formal um love master trick you could do that would definitely uh, make great love fusion with that one that alone. A bunch of a great one as well too. And that's there, all your PC tricks you could do for Valentine's or all love. And that's how you do the magic love arm shawl master